Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full in-depth apartment tour. We've officially been living in this apartment for like a little bit over a year and a half and I finally feel like we're really, really settled. I feel like everything decor wise is like 99% there. The whole home just feels really cozy and really full. There's just certain pieces, you know, that I would like to like upgrade or kind of change around, but for the most part, everything is like where it should be. If you guys don't remember, we moved into this apartment, which is a little over 800 square feet from a 450 square foot studio apartment. And before that, we were living in just a bedroom. This was a huge jump in square footage for us. We've never had our own living room before. We've never had a dining room. We've never had as big of a bedroom. Like this was a huge step up for us and it did take quite a while honestly to get it to the point that it is now where it feels actually full and cozy and I will say too if you are new to my channel and you didn't know this about me I am a very thrifty person I have thrifted dumpster dived curbside found alleyway found like 99% of everything that I own my furniture, my decor, my clothing, everything that I have pretty much is second hand. So of course that takes a lot more time as well. It's not like I'm just going to the store, buying everything I need for my apartment and calling it a day. Um, it's a lot bigger of a challenge to do it that way, but it's so rewarding, especially for like my personal style. It just really makes sense for us. So that's just how we did it. And I am so, so happy with the space. And I thought that I would go ahead and film this now because we might be moving. Things are a little bit up in the air at the moment that I'm filming this. Um, don't fully know if we're going to have to move, when we're going to have to move, etc, etc. So I thought there's no better time than now where the apartment is super clean. It is fully decorated pretty much to the way that I want it to be. So I was like, I might as well film this. I do still have my fall decor up, not my Halloween stuff anymore, but just like fall related things. So ideally, you know, it would not have any sort of like holiday decorations, but this is just what it's looking like right now. So without further ado, I don't want to make this intro too, too long for you guys, but let's just jump straight into the apartment tour. I will say our apartment is a little bit unique as we do have two entrances inside. We have the back door right here, which is where I'm gonna start. I'll start out in the hallway and kind of show you guys everything, but we do also have a front door as well. We just never really use it, honestly. I don't like to. I'm gonna start here because this is the one that we actually use. So these are the fall decorations. I did finally spray paint the vase and put the dried type of like florals in there. That's our fall mat. And we don't have anything hanging on the back door anymore, but. Okay, let me flip the light on because it is kind of dark in our apartment, especially this time of day. But this is the door that you come into. I'm going to put you guys on 0.5. This is the door that you come into. As you can see, we've hung our shoe holder on the back of the door here it is definitely not the prettiest to look at i usually have this inside of a closet but this is where it works the best in this apartment and then i hung some art on this wall i thrifted that somewhere in illinois i think it's really pretty and i got it for like three bucks and then this wall as you can see curves around which is kind of cool it's not like a sharp corner so i have turned this section of the wall into our entryway of sorts. I'm gonna stand on this side. I did have a video where I hung this mirror and the hat rack and that painting and stuff all just to like really complete this area. So again, I mean, I'm not gonna keep saying it. Literally everything in here is thrifted, but I have the cutest little welcome sign up here. We have a mirror, which is... <laughs> I can't really see in it if I'm being honest. This is more for Chris because this is his whole hat collection and he can just like look in the mirror, fix his hair, put a hat on, whatever he needs to do. I mean, if I stand on my tippy toes, I can kind of see myself, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and then we've had this little shoe rack for the longest time. It's very functionable. In fact, this part actually lifts up as well. It's maybe not like the cutest, but it's also not ugly. It's totally fine. It functions and that's all that matters. So I have like 
my boots and then just a mix of both of our shoes then we have our little catch-all bowl as well which this is actually broken but no one needs to know that although i just told you guys that i have some depop orders to ship out but this right here is our whole entryway and it's really really nice now on the other side from where i'm standing we do have a closet right here this is basically like our coat closet slash everything closet i did install a lot because we keep a lot of important stuff in here but as you can see we do have a hook on the back of the door that holds a whole bunch of jackets and bags and scarves and things like that and it is so stuffed in here this is kind of embarrassing to even show but we've got like our vacuum art stuff coats hanging up this always stays closed and typically locked as well and then i did also hang this teeny little shelf in this spot because it was like one of the only spots that it would fit and it's like right against the corner it's not really styled but i do just really really like this shelf so as you can see we go right and this goes into our bedroom so i guess i might as well take you guys in there and then we will go through the rest of the apartment after that. This is the only door that doesn't have an archway, but it does have all of the beautiful original wood trim. So greatly, greatly appreciate all of the vintage touches in here. So we always leave our bedroom door open like this. I'll start over here on this wall. This wall is my vanity station. I don't really use it as like a makeup type of getting ready vanity. It actually holds all of our like bras, socks, underwear, undergarments, if you will. I have a faux plant there. I have a real plant there. These two sconces were from Chris's mom that holds some taper candles, which are beautiful. I got this chair at the Goodwill Bins. This was such a great find, and it really matches the vanity well, honestly. I wish it tucked in a little bit further, but it's fine. It works. But yeah, I love this vanity, so I know I'm going to get questions about it. My vanity, my headboard, and this dresser all came in a set it's over 100 years old it was the find of a century on facebook marketplace it was like 300 dollars for the whole set it was in the family forever literally only ever had like one owner they were in immaculate condition and they're just so gorgeous they fit my aesthetic perfectly they were just what i was looking for i really love it if you follow me on instagram you've seen many of mirror selfies right here it's just gorgeous. I did leave <laughs> black gauze from Halloween on the mirrors just because I honestly really like how it looks. I have some small pops of black throughout the apartment and I just, yeah, I just really liked it. So I left it up. <laughs> but as you can see on top of my vanity, I have a little heart dish on each side. This one's a little bit different and it holds more, but they're both gorgeous. And then I have the little vase, amber jar of fake florals and then i have the crystal candlestick holders with bone candles in them i just think it looks so so cute i love the symmetry of this whole area and then this looks like it would be built in but it's actually not it's just a little angel art piece that happened to fit right there perfectly i was going to hang it but it just like sits there nicely so i'm like okay that works and then panning over here we have our closet it is a mess in here because i have all of my donate bags on the ground you guys have seen me do many of closet cleanouts in here but you know it's packed to the brim it is what it is it's a very very small closet but we make it work and i did also command strip my very cheap mirror <laughs> on the door which has been such a game changer i love it there so much but i try to keep the closet closed just because i don't always love to look in there at all the clothes and then in this corner i usually have our hamper on the floor here but i'm doing laundry at the moment and i i do like how it looks when it's open <laughs> creates a little more space because our room does feel really full but in the corner here i have this really cute little corner shelf that i found at the goodwill bins i got it for like a buck or something crazy and i have them very minimally decorated but i do love her work and then i have two crosses on my wall no i'm not religious i just like how it looks sorry if that offends anybody but the girlies who get it get it and i just i love them there and then i have some dried eucalyptus and a little hat that i don't ever wear but i think it looks cute 
as decor, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I just kind of like hung those there. I was trying to fill the wall space a little bit over here. Also, I've had this little runner rug forever. It's from Ikea. Ideally, we would have a much bigger rug in here, but I have really liked this here. So anyways, onto our bed. As you can see, we have the beautiful headboard. We have some vintage art hanging up that was thrifted, of course. We have some vintage wood nightstands, which the tops of them, you guys, I'll actually show you, are in really rough shape. I really need to sand them down and refinish them, but I have not gotten around to it. So in the meantime, I just put down some like table setting type of things. I've got these, which are actually from the dollar store, but I like the black and some doilies, which I believe are also from the dollar store. On my nightstand, I have some books and some dried florals, some taper candles. I love these, that they're kind of like dishes so that I can put things in there. I, you know, I usually have a pretty junky nightstand, but this is how it looks when it's actually clean. And then I love that these hang down and kind of hide some of the stuff underneath here, but there's lots of storage down there as well. We each chuck our slippers underneath. They're just so useful. Could you believe we found those in an alleyway? Come on. For the bed, my sheets and my comforter set are from Amazon. Very rare that I buy things new like that, but it was so worth it. This comforter is incredible. If you guys remember, I ordered the wrong color at first, ended up going with pink. Best decision ever. And my sheets are the floral ones that like every girly has but for good reason because they're very cute and really comfy and then this giant like doily type of blanket i got at the bins i actually this could be so gross to some people but i found this blanket on top of our dumpster out back so i like lysoled it deep cleaned it multiple times bleach in the wash etc and it's really really comfy i love the sweatery material and the texture that it gives to our bed and i usually just have it like on one corner like that we do also have christmas lights strung across some of the room that was one of the first things we ever did when we moved in here but we didn't have enough to continue it around the rest which has always kind of bothered me but at this point now we don't really turn those on a whole lot because we do have a lamp on chris's nightstand so you know they're cute they create a vibe don't love how they look at this point, but it just is what it is. So then over here on Chris's side of the room, we have his nightstand, which this lamp we found on the street. <laughs> it was like on the curbside. This chair over here, this is like his little reading chair. He likes to sit here in the mornings. I like to sit here and edit sometimes. It's really, really comfy. And I also got that out of an alleyway. My friend actually was like, hey, this chair is in my alley and I think you would like it perfect condition. I love the like olive green and brown. It's just so gorgeous. Another cheapy little Ikea rug. We have some cute stuff in the windowsills. The lace curtains are also like thrifted. Amazing. As you can see, very on brand of me. I have rocks in all the windowsills. That blanket is Ikea from like years and years and years ago. And then that pillow, my great grandma actually embroidered. And after she passed, my mom and my grandma gave me a whole bunch of her old stuff. They stuffed this pillow and gifted it to me, and it means so, so much to me. So I just really love this little corner. It's really cozy, and, you know, when the lights are on, it makes it even more of a vibe. Over on Chris's side, it basically mirrors mine. So I gave him, like, a fake plant candle and his lamp. I'll go ahead and turn this on because it just makes it so freaking cozy in here. This was such a game changer, and, you know, he's got his stuff under his nightstand, his slippers, all of that. And then moving over to this side, this is my Depop station. If you guys didn't know, I do resell vintage and some newer clothes online, and this is where I do everything. So I keep all of my inventory in here and then also in a bin under our bed. I keep all of my shipping supplies here. It's definitely a little junked up, can't really lie, but... This is the space that I'm working with and I'm making it work, so it is what it is. I found this cabinet outside in our alley and it's been great. It's great for storing things, honestly, and it's pretty cute. I did not intend on keeping this in here for as long as I have. I really wanted to get another dresser and move more things, like just move all of this under our bed, but it just hasn't happened yet. You know, again, it takes a long time to curate your space perfectly when you thrift and just find things. I have a whole bunch of plants 
candles, all the things on top of here. It's definitely kind of cluttered, but you know, I do think it's cute. I really love this print. I just didn't find anywhere for it. So I've had it leaning here, but ideally I would like to hang that somewhere. I really liked it with the whole gallery wall that I did here, but there is nowhere for me to really like squeeze it in there you know what i mean without kind of rearranging things and i've just wanted to leave this alone i've had this going strong like pretty much since we've moved in so we've got like some of chris's art mixed in with thrifted art and it's just really really beautiful i've always really loved this in fact we used to have this dresser right underneath there and it came like right to the gallery wall which i thought was really great i mean you know Again, this is just working for us right now, but I would change it if I had time and found the right pieces. And then over on this wall, more thrifted art, of course. We have plants because I had to move all my plants inside from off of my balcony, which is right there. I love that we have our balcony right off our room. That's so convenient and so it's just so nice. And what a beautiful door, might I add. I have a dumpster alleyway find chair here that holds the plant. And I have, you know, our fan leaning against this because we have to sleep with fan at night. We have, you know, like our Xbox and things stored under the dresser. It's kind of, you know, a little junked up over here more than I would like it to be. But again, I'm just like working with what I've got here. We keep the cat's litter box, one of them at least, tucked behind this door. So from a lot of angles of the room, you really don't see that, which is nice. But, you know, ideally it would be even more tucked away, but that's just where it works in here. And then this dresser stores the majority of our clothes. I have our TV on top of it as well, which I think actually fits great right there. I've almost made the top of this kind of into like an altar of sorts. I've got a plant, I've got some cute fall decor. Got some bones, pine cones, some cool branches that I found all on top of a pink doily. And then I have a little angel guy over here. I am really, really, really happy with how this looks. I love the art all around it. I had plans on hanging a shelf right here. I have the two supports for the shelf that I thrifted. I just need a plank of wood. And then I was going to put like more plants and maybe some more art up there. Just haven't gotten around to it yet, but, you know, story of my life. We do also keep, like, this little TV tray table because Chris likes to pull that up so that he can sit there and edit in that chair. Again, the litter box, this print that our friend made us. I keep scrunchies on, like, all of my door handles, too, just so that they're easy to grab and, like, they look kind of cute. I don't know why. I've just, like, literally always done this for some reason. And then I have some bags hanging here because I have so many bags, but these are two of my more oftenly used bags. So that's why those are just right there so I can grab them whenever I want. They're right by the entryway. It works. I'll go ahead and take you guys out onto the balcony really fast and just give a little pan. It's nothing super fancy at the moment. It's just looking really bland with no plants out there and it's covered in leaves, but I'll just give you guys a really quick little view out there i have lots of plant supplies here some random boxes that i've used to like spray paint chris also uses those for doing concrete work for his fingerboarding my old neighbor had thrown this out this was like a doggy playpen type of thing and i just stretched it out and put it across the balcony thinking oh that should keep my cats you know in but my cats could still jump up on here so like that doesn't really work this chair i got for free from a friend who had originally found it on curbside which was incredible it's so comfy and it's great for outdoor space there's also an ottoman that pulls out of there i found this table on the curbside as you can see this is like coming apart but it's overall a really great cutie little table we have this grill that i've low-key like never used this pop is on chair that I've had forever, a desk chair that we've had forever. All these rugs are like five below or thrifted. And then this plant stand, if you guys have been around a while, you would remember this. This is incredible being on the balcony for all of my plants in the summer, but it is looking pretty sad now that it's like getting to winter time. It is what it is, but it, it works really well out here and I do really like it. So yeah, it's just, it's kind of a mess out here. It's really boring, so it's fine. Now we are moving out of the room through the entryway and we are greeted into the dining room. The kitchen and bathroom are both to our right. 
I kind of want to go ahead and go into the bathroom low key. So right before the bathroom, this little bench is actually the original bench that goes with our vanity, but it just was way too much in the room. Like it stuck out way too far. So that's living here. And I think it's really cute. It's great to hold a plant. As you can see, I have pumpkins. I have a whole bunch of frames stacked underneath that just don't have a home or are empty that I should really put in storage, but they've just been sitting on the floor there. It's fine. I got this cute green little shelf from the bins and I just put a whole bunch of thrifted items on it. I think it looks so freaking cute. And then on this wall as well, we have this little paper lantern type of lamp. This is great. It's from Five Below. It's going strong, has been for a very long time. And then we have like an old fuse box that doesn't work anymore and a really cutie candlestick holder. We'll go into the rest in a minute, but let's go ahead and go to the bathroom. I'm going to turn a light on because again, it's kind of dark, but the light against the paint makes it very warm in here. So, hello, welcome to my cutie patootie bathroom that I painted without my and I plan to paint back. It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. I It was gray in here, like the rest of the apartment, and it just made me sad. And now this is like the happiest room in the house. It's so freaking cutie pie in here, and I love it. So as you can see, when you first walk into the bathroom, we have our vanity. Nothing fancy at all. This is updated, and it's not cute, but it's, it's fine. It functions. And the medicine cabinet, which is also nothing fancy, but, you know, it works. Oh, and I did put my Bigfoot shrine in here as I call it. We have a really cool old light, but the problem is that that is the only outlet in this entire bathroom, which is very frustrating, but I keep our toothbrushes plugged in at all times so that we can charge those. We have the cutest little built-ins here. This is like for toothbrushes, and I've just put my crystals in there. It fits a small candle perfectly, which is really convenient. Then we have the soap dish on this side. I put a fake plant here because this little cup thing that I have it in matches the bathroom so well. Like I said, our toothbrushes are on the side, some hand soap. And then on this tiny little wall, I hung two of my most all-time favorite pieces of art ever that I've ever thrifted. This is stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. And this little swan one, I've had so many people tell me they also have it. It is just so cute and it matches our swan stained glass window. So very special. And then over here, this is a piece of art that I did that would look a lot better if it had a gold frame around it, but it does not. So it's just been in the same spot ever since we moved in. It's not my favorite, but it's like fine, whatever. And then obviously we have our toilet, fun stuff, I know. I have a little basket of all my hair tools tucked right there. It actually is the same length as the vanity, so that works really well. And then we have our trash can on the other side of the toilet. And then this basket that I thrifted just happens to fit the top of a toilet perfectly. So I always keep my pads, tampons, some washcloths, extra TP, things like that in there. And it's really convenient. Maybe not the cutest, but like, you know, again, we're going for functionality here. Trying to be cute while still being functional. Another thing that I might as well mention now is that we do have all the original tile in the bathroom. I don't love the black and yellow, but I do love the yellow. <laughs> The black is fine too, it's just together it's like interesting, but that's why I painted the walls pink was to help with that a lot, and I think it complements it a lot more. I hung a plant from the shower curtain rod, um, because it's like permanently, like it's like properly installed. I did not do that, it was already here when we moved in, and it holds the plant perfectly, so it's thriving, it loves to be in the bathroom. And then I also do hang eucalyptus in my shower. And this right here, guys, is the sole reason we moved into this place. This swan stained glass window has my heart. It has since the day I saw the listing on Zillow. And I was like, this is where I need to live. It's really sad because <laughs> there are some obvious uh, mismatched tiles in here. I guess some tiles must have cracked or broke. And they just put white ones in. So don't love that. I wish it was just all yellow and matching in here, but like, it's fine. I'm just so incredibly grateful for this window. And as you can see, the pink ties into the window as well. I have a rubber ducky collection up here. I have a fake plant. This light currently doesn't have batteries, but it turns all different colors. And then I keep my products on the little window ledge, which works great. That is a little like soap dish thing. I always hang our washcloth off of that. 
And then we have another little like towel bar in here, which is perfect to keep our mat off of the floor because my cats will pee on it if I leave it on the floor all the time. So that's really, really nice. And then this shower curtain, you guys, is actually from Walmart of all places. I got it like months after I painted the walls pink. I used to only have the clear one in here, which like I didn't mind, but evidently other people thought it was ugly. So that's cool. But this shower curtain literally matches the bathroom perfectly. The pink is spot on, the yellow is spot on, brings in the green accents as well. So that was an incredible find. And it honestly too doesn't like clash against the floor tile too much. That was something I was really worried about when looking for a shower curtain and I think it works. I think it works great. Um, we have another towel bar here, which I just keep our hand towel on. We have this little stool that I got at the bins and I just put a candle and my little swan on there. And then this is what I call my Pine Grove shelves. I got these at an estate sale for like three bucks. No, maybe it was a dollar. I don't remember, but they are backwards, but in the shape of the Cardinal album cover, which is, if you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's so cute. And I love the like wavy edges on it. Like, it's just so amazing. And the like lighter bamboo type of wood matches with this. So it just, it all comes together so nicely in my opinion. Like the bathroom kind of leans a little boho mixed with vintage. And I don't know, it's just cute. So I have perfumes and all sorts of things displayed on there. And then we do... This is so lucky for us, but we do actually have a really big linen closet. Now, usually I keep a cat litter box in here, and I just leave this door open all the time, but I've actually since moved the litter box out, and am, like, really using this just as, like, medicine slash linen closet. So, that's nice. It's a mess in there. We're not going to get too much into that. And then I have all my robes hung up on the back of the door. And then on this tiny sliver of the wall, I have this beautiful, like, needle-pointed piece of art. And I have this really cute little necklace rack that I put dried flowers onto. And then on the back of the door, I just hung our towels off of one of the little hooks once again. Also have so many scrunchies on the door handle in here. But yeah, I love our bathroom. It is so effing cute. We're going to go into the dining room now. This runner, you guys, thrifted. Thrifted for like five bucks. Incredible find. This is our dining room. Again, one of the first things we ever did was hang this giant gallery wall of all of our own art. The only piece that isn't ours is that one at the very end. The rest from here over is all me and Chris's art. And I think it's really cute. It brings so much color and eclecticness to this space. I kind of do want to change it out and do like all vintage art, but... I don't know if we'll, I honestly don't know if that's ever going to happen, but it is very cute. It brings our personality into the space a lot as well, which I love. Let me go ahead and go through from one side to the next. This wavy shelf was a curbside find once again. It's iconic. I painted it white recently. I just have a plant and some other very random things on here, purely for decoration. It's just cutie pie in the corner right here. And then I have a big plant here. We have our kitty scratcher right there. They love laying on this. That's their favorite shape of scratcher ever. So I'm always repurchasing that one. And then this is our kitchen table. This is actually my stepdad's from like his last marriage. Which is so crazy. But he's basically had this since he was like our age. And it's been passed down to us. We got the chairs, which perfectly match from someone else actually. And then we have like this random chair that we found curbside. Yet again, nothing new. We always have like our personal stuff on each side of the table, so just keeping it real with that. And then I also created the cutest little centerpiece, if you will. I've had this basket for the longest time. I put a doily under it. We just have rocks and our dried flowers, our candle with the brass candlestick holder, and then our wax burner. Because I get a little paranoid about candles, I can't lie, but I like my home to smell good, so this has been the biggest game changer and like the light that it puts out are you kidding it's like having a little lamp on the table it's so cute then moving to this corner this gets a little embarrassing i can't even lie because this is just a mess i put this shelf here and like it works it's fine but i wanted to put the white cabinet in our room here and use that more like a little coffee station instead of having a tall shelf it's it's just 
it's a lot but it has some really practical stuff like our dried goods and jars and things like that but then it's also just got a lot of junk and a lot of stuff that should be like display like our pyrex bowls and that big thing but yeah i mean it just it houses so much stuff and it's just a lot going on but that's enough about that we also have the cutest little nook here it's an old telephone nook and i turned it into my altar that I put a painting of my kitties into. These used to have little air plants, but now they're empty. And then just all of my beautiful altar things. Sorry that my camera is not in the best quality at this very second, it's because it's so dark. But we also have our cat food and water bowls down there. And then the other ones are right here at the end of the cabinets. I hung this little thing here that keeps very personal things on there. So I don't know, it was just the best spot for it. And then up here, we have the calendar. Then that pretty much leads us into the kitchen. First of all, can we get a moment for this freaking window? I mean, gorgeous, Gorgina, we love her. We love her work. So in the kitchen here, we put this little rug in front of the sink. It's so cutie pie, thrifted of course. I feel like we have some decent storage in here. It might not look like a lot to some, but for us, this was plenty. We have the uppers as well, and then this floating shelf is actually already here, and it houses all of our mugs, as you can see. On this little part of the countertop, I have our toaster, bananas, and then some decorative stuff, a kitty cutting board, because of course. And then this one, we actually use as our pantry, because as you can see, there's no pantry in this space. Uh, but the rest is all like kitchen storage. This is our sink nothing too fancy but i do love the faucet here and i can hook this up for when i'm doing shampoos on my clients it just connects right there on the side and then i have a really good shampoo hose as well we keep our paper towels our scrubby up here and then the shelf i put a tiny piece of art underneath it but as you can see i have a big plant that goes all over the freaking kitchen and all of our mugs up here we do have more mugs than this as you guys saw on the other shelf but this is like our most grabbed for mugs. Again, with the vintage original tile, I love the black and white in here. I always, always, always wanted to do black and white checkerboard floors in here. I was going to do it in like a renter friendly type of way and I just never got around to it, but I thought that would have looked iconic in here. We have our air fryer, obviously another cabinet. I have some really cute art over here, thrifted, and then I actually made that when I was like five years old. So that's really cute to have. And then in the windowsill, I have all of my plants and all of my propagations, which is what I had always pictured for this windowsill. Again, I mean, the tiles are just so cool. I love them. The window is original as well. Um, and then I do have the lace curtains. Once again, they're beautiful. I love them. The rocks on the windowsills, of course. And then moving over to this side of the kitchen, we have our stove and our dishwasher. So, so nice that we had a dishwasher. That's like a luxury that I kind of can't give up. It's so nice to have a dishwasher. Oh my God, dishes are my least favorite chore. But this little slab of counter does tend to get junked up. This is where I do all of my cooking prep because the stove is just right here. Um, but I always keep our baked goods here. I really need to get a good cake stand to store them, but you know, they just live here until then. I've got a pumpkin, a candle, this gorgeous lamp that I got at a yard sale for like 30 bucks. Incredible. This has been such a game changer. Having a lamp in the kitchen might seem a little silly, but it is so nice. Then we have our coffee, our tea, our pour over, because that's how Chris makes his coffee every single morning. And then this shelf was also from the Goodwill bins. It's a little mug rack with a heart cut out. It's so fucking cute. I changed my mugs out on this since it's more decorative and I just love it so much. And then this is a Chris art piece and that is as well, Both, they're both oil pastels. And then on the stove, I always have my spoon rest, a candle, our cow tea kettle, my oils up there, all of my spices, a dish towel, you know, typical kitchen stuff, what can I say? And then this was also something that was such a good buy. I got this off Amazon. It's a magnetic knife rack. It sticks to the side of your fridge and then you stick all your knives on it. Such a good purchase. Seriously, I don't like having a knife block on the countertop. So getting just things off of the counters is so, so nice, especially in a small space like this. 
I did this in my studio and I've continued it here. I just love it so much. And then we do have another big old pothos up on top of the fridge as well. We have our fridge here. I honestly love that one side of the kitchen is like fridge, stove, dishwasher. It's kind of nice to have it all on one side. We use the top of the fridge for more pantry type of storage and just other storage as well. We keep our grocery list here. I mean, hey, a lot of people don't like a white fridge, but I honestly do. So, teach their own. And then on the side of the fridge, I keep my broom, my mop, ramen apparently, and then just eclectic things like our magnet collection, some set lists that we've gotten, some bills, you know, typical things. Then obviously we have like our alarm system and our thermostat here as well. So that concludes the kitchen and the dining room. Now we are going to move into the living room. So once again, if you guys have been here for a while, you would remember. I've never had a living room before. This was my first living room ever, and it took me a very, very long time to bring this all together and to make this space make sense because we have a lot going on in here that we use this space for, and I feel like I have finally made it work. It's like our big entertainment space, if you will. I'm gonna go to the right. I feel like that's the common theme here. On this side of the living room, this pink chair has been around forever, literally forever. I almost got rid of it at one point. I'm so, so, so glad that I didn't. I'm using a little plant stand as like a side table here. I hung my Beatles poster that I've had since my childhood. I just love this little cozy corner next to the bookshelves. So these bookshelves were curbside finds. These I manifested so quickly, actually. I was scouring Facebook Marketplace every single day for these like darker toned wooden bookshelves. And they were really expensive really hard to come across and then i literally watched somebody put these out on the curb and i whoop, swooped over there grabbed them up as fast as i could brought them home and they could not be more perfect the only thing that would make it better is like how iconic would it be to have a third one and do just a whole wall of bookshelves which would also give me more storage for my records my books my dvds my i have a lot of things that i collect my vhs as well that's a big storage problem as you can see I'm overflowing with some of my things, so it would be helpful to have another tall bookshelf, but it is practical to be able to, like, put the chair here. As you can see, they have closed storage as well as the shelving, which is, like, so, so, so nice. They're literally perfect. I'm obsessed with them. And then I have a little doll bed that is, like, a cat bed, but my cats don't use it, so it just sits here and looks cute. Everybody likes to comment on it. And then back in this little corner, we have a desk a little school desk back here that we don't really use but we've decorated it and made it look cute in the space don't really know that we need it or that we're going to keep it but we found that in a dumpster outside of a school it's old it's cool and we just have it for now so that just is what it is um and then as you can see i have like a banjo and a guitar stuffed back there because i really need to get some guitar stands but yeah i mean this desk is really cool. Part of me doesn't want to get rid of it, but it's also just, like, not very practical. So, we'll see. Um, we have a print on the wall here. Obviously, we've got, like, plants and things. This lamp, I drilled a hole in the backing of these bookshelves to make that work. So worth it. And then, this is our beautiful glass block window, which I do love. It's just weird that there's only one on this wall, and it, it's just, like kind of throws off the balance in here but I always do like a fairy garden scene in this window and right now it's still Halloween cemetery themed which I think is really cool so yeah um and then back behind the couch I'm gonna out myself here we use this little space for storage we have a mini drum kit stored back here my hair mirror the cat litter box another instrument like it's just it's a lot, but you don't even see it from any other angle of the living room, so. Looking this way, this is like the main view of the living room. We have our rug that we got at an estate sale, thrifted the coffee table, thrifted the doily. The couch was thrifted even for like 40 bucks for this beautiful, stunning antique couch that, no, it's not very comfortable, but honestly, we don't really sit on it a whole lot. We're not big, like, couch people. Like, we don't sit in here and watch movies, you know what I mean? Like, if we're watching something, it's usually right before bed. We actually hardly use the TV that's in here, but, you know, it functions like a normal living room. This is great for when I have lots of clients or if we have friends over, so. No, it's not the most practical or comfortable, and I've had people already tell me before, like, you should have a comfy couch. Guess what? I like having a pretty couch. 
<laughs> uh, we have a little ottoman here that's very sad. It's mostly, that is actually the cat bed, really. And then, as you can see, we hung guitars and our bass on this back wall. That was my vision, literally, since the day we toured this place. I was like, that is where I want to hang guitars. And it was a pain in the ass. I had to get help, but it does look really good. So, that's really fun. So, as you can see, like I said, the space is multifunctional. It's like musical, entertainment, and then as well as this whole corner is all of my boyfriend's fingerboarding stuff. If you don't know what fingerboarding is, it's like tech decks. It's basically miniature skateboarding. And to some, it may sound really silly. It is kind of silly, but he's literally like sponsored for this. He gets free product all the time. He has a whole group of friends that he does this with. Like it's really wholesome and even cooler. He's built every single thing himself. So this is like his pride and joy. It's his newest and like most done hobby so i let him have this space even though it's in the living room i wish that he could have like you know his own room for this kind of stuff have his own room for art you know scanning photos like photography this stuff skateboarding like i really wish he had his own space but we make it work with him being over in these beautiful corner windows here in our living room so we're gonna come over in the corner first i have plants because they need all the light they can get, and as you can see, this is like the most direct light that we ever get. So, I have a humidifier, I'm trying to help the dry air this winter, especially for these plants here. These plants love humidity, so I'm seeing if that helps. I have a little record box here, I've got plants in the windows. I love these corner windows so, so, so much. I think they're beautiful. That one's original, the other two over here did get replaced with like new windows, which is like nice, but... You know, I love the look of the original windows. So this one's beautiful. We usually have our AC units in here, but we just took those out, which is so nice to not have those in. Oh my God. Um, I put my salon chair here so that this works as a desk. He can sit here to fingerboard if you would like to. There is a little shelf underneath his table. It has all of our VHS tapes on it and some of his obstacles. It's kind of hidden away, especially right now, but you know, it just, it is what it is, you know, not ideal, but it's, it's working. This is his whole fingerboard setup. Again, he's literally built like all of this himself, which is so impressive and so cool. I think he's really done a great job. He's got one of his biggest art pieces right there. And then this shelf on this side houses more fingerboard stuff, things like that. And then he's laying his skateboards right here. And that kind of leads me into our second entryway, if you will. I've you know, made this look like an entryway and function like one, even though we don't really use this door, but this is our front door. See, I put the do not enter sign because we don't use this door. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. So as for the entryway right here, I have this little half rug that is so, so cutie pie. And then like an umbrella stand, which is currently holding <laughs> my tripod. And then I have a little cute, as you can see, I love my heart cut out things, a little coat rack shelf type of deal. A skateboard that my boyfriend made. He actually does have more that he like hand painted that I wanted to hang there. Haven't gotten around to it once again. Kind of a theme here. I actually also wanted to hang one like maybe right here next to the guitar there, but we do have, you know, like the other instruments. It's like, should we hang more instruments on that wall? But now we might be moving, so we'll see. But yeah, I mean, this space functions really, really well to be a cute little entryway moment. We also have hello a gold mirror that i've had forever and a little shoe tray right there which does always have our shoes on it but sometimes i kind of clear space for guests to put their shoes if they want to take them off and then this is our whole tv stand section this is like literally the whole wall again it's like off-centered because of the door so like this wall is like pushed to this side but then with that window this wall is like pushed towards this way so it makes it a little difficult to like center things. If you're actually in here, you'll see that the couch is not centered with the entertainment center. But again, doing what I can with the space that I have. On this wall, I have my big, full, healthy, happy fig tree. And then this TV stand, my neighbor was throwing out. I swooped it up instantly. It is gorgeous. And I love the way that it can display all of my VHS tapes. It holds our Xbox can store baskets and things underneath, holds our TV, which this TV is bigger than the one in our room, so I feel like the scale of this works really well. 
again I have a lot of like fall decor out right now which is not normally there so it's usually even a little more empty than this but I do think it looks really cute for fall and then I have they're not on right now but I do have string lights as you can see we have a giant slightly concerning crack in the plaster wall here not my problem that's all I can say uh the landlords can come in and fix that if they would like to They've been having inspections and walkthroughs, so they do know that this is there. So, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't seem like it's, like, structural or anything, but I also don't know because the crack does go up onto the ceiling, and then there's also cracking around the archway, so we're not going to talk about that any longer because it stresses me out, but <laughs> anyways, then in this corner, we have our record station. This is how we play our VHS tapes. I don't currently have a VHS player to hook up to this TV. But I got this from a friend when they were moving across the country. They were getting rid of all their stuff and they were like, take what you want. I said, I want this TV. I need this TV because I need to play my VHS tape somehow. So underneath that, behind the record is our record player that plays cassettes, does CDs, radio, aux, everything. It's not the nicest, but it's very convenient. And then I thrifted this like record stand. It holds all of our favorites down on the bottom. The rest of our collection is over here. Um, and yeah, it's really, really nice. Really good use of space, in my opinion. And then we have our cassette shelf hung up here with a little sleepy kitty on top. It's so cute. As you can see, we definitely could use more tapes, but we had a smaller cassette shelf that we outgrew. And now we're like needing to kind of grow our collection a bit more to fill this out, but... I also have a little, you can't really see the shelf itself, but it's a gold shelf with angels on it. And it's just housing a little fake plant right there. So, you know, cutie pie. Ooh, look, we're starting to get pretty dots in the living room from my disco ball. Oh, I forgot to mention the lamp in the corner too, LOL. Um, and then we obviously also get the rainbows too because I have the sun catchers on the window. So with that being said, you guys, that is my entire apartment tour everybody say goodbye to mr beans say bye <laughs> okay guys that is it that is our entire apartment from one end to the next and yeah i mean it's been a really really great almost two years living here i truly have very very few complaints honestly we are in the city you know um so that comes with noise it comes with interesting neighbors and things like that but for the most part you know i really have nothing but good things to say our landlords have been amazing the space itself has been incredible we have done so much growing and settling down in this apartment so i will forever be very grateful for that honestly if we're able to stay here another year, I absolutely would in a heartbeat. I feel like I've just really been able to tune into my style and curate the exact space that I've always dreamt of having. And I'm just so, so, so grateful for that. My cats are also really happy here, might I add. It's just been, it's been great. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking a look around my space. It is a little bit vulnerable to put it out there to the world. It feels vulnerable to even have people in our space, but I love to share this kind of stuff. I love home decor so much. I love thrifting. I love house stuff in general. So it's exciting for me to get to share that and show my vision with all of you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite thing about our apartment is. I know my favorite thing is the bathroom. The original tile in there and the stained glass window that's what initially sold us to this place and you know it's got just so much amazing vintage character from the hardwood floors the archways all the original tile in the kitchen and the bathroom it's just it's such a special place and for such a steal we pay i don't think i mentioned this at the very beginning of this video so i apologize but we pay 725 for rent here and then we do have added pet rent on top of it which is 25 per pet which technically brings our rent to 775 but in my opinion for the amount of space that we have location everything like that is a freaking steal <sighs> i think that is everything that i have to share with you guys thank you so much for being here and watching through this whole video if you did i will see you guys in a video very very soon
I love you guys so much. Bye.